What's going on guys? My name is Richard and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to make a video about the Webby RSI or the Webby Really Simple Indicator which was created by IBD's head market strategist Mike Webster. And he uses this indicator to help determine the health and strength of the market especially after a nasty correction like this. And in this video I'll talk about what the indicator is and how you can use it and also show you how to set it up in both TC2000 and also TradingView. And after liking and watching this video, you should 100% check out the playlist in the description below, which contains my favorite education videos from Mike talking about the markets and trading strategy, and of course, a few music references. And these are the ones that I watch over and over again. I think Mike overall is a great teacher and shares a ton of golden insights. And with that said, let's get into the video. And as the name suggests, the Webby RSI is pretty simple. All it is is the percentage from the low of any given trading day to the 21 EMA, which on this chart is in blue. Um, so you can see that during the correction, when we were below the 21 EMA, it was negative, so it doesn't show up on this chart. And when we're above it, you can see it increases. This blue histogram is the Webby RSI. And I also have this blue 10-day moving average right here to help smooth out those spikes. And overall, after a huge correction like this, you want to see a spike in the Webby RSI initially, because that signifies that there's power behind the move especially right near a fall through day. Um, but as the bull market kind of matures, you do want to see it gradually decrease, just like we're seeing right now, and fall between these two green lines at 2% and also 0.5%. That indicates that we're not going up too quickly and we're not getting overheated. And you might notice that I also have a couple different lines on here at 4% and 6% as well. And if the Web RSI peaks above that consistently, especially after an extended bull market, that's a warning sign and maybe a suggestion that a correction might occur very soon. And a good example of this is if we go all the way back to January of 2018 after a sustained bull market from this correction right here. And you can see we see a spike in the Webby RSI after an extended bull market. And you can see we get overheated and then we have this nasty correction and chop for a few months. So if you're using the Webby RSI and you see a big spike like this, especially after a sustained bull market, that should be a warning signal. So in summary, after a big correction like in late 2018 or early 2020, you wanna see a big move up along with the Webby RSI spiking early on in the run. Uh, but gradually you wanna see it decrease over the course of the bull market and you wanna see a rest in between these 0.5 and 2% levels ideally. And after this big run, if you see it spike up once again, that should be another kind of indication that you might wanna slow down a little bit and have your foot on the brake pedal or at least off the accelerator. Um, and if there is a big gap in the Web RSI, that means we're below the 21 EMA and definitely you should be putting your kind of trading on pause and scaling a little bit out of the market and being a little bit more cautious because that's not really healthy action, especially if we fall below the 50 day SMA and definitely you should be out of the market if we fall below the 200 day SMA. So with that said, let's go over to TradingView and I'll show you how to set up the Webby RSI on this popular platform. And first things first, I will have the Pine script that you need in the description of the video, but I ask if you do use it to please like this video and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, but open that up, you can see the code down here. And it's pretty simple. Here we calculate the Webby RSI. Then in this line, we also make sure that if it is below zero, so for below the 21 EMA, it won't show up on the histogram. And then we plot that along with some moving averages and those horizontal lines. Um, so all you have to do is copy the code that will be in the description below and then click add to chart. And then you should see this kind of mess of lines right here and there's no histogram yet. And what you have to do is go over to the Webby RSI, click this button right here, the settings button, and you want to change this plot right here, which is the Webby RSI value and change it down here to columns. And that gives it the right look. And you can see we currently have a white background and let's switch that up so it looks a little bit nicer. So right click and go to settings and then go down to appearance and let's change that background to black. Um, all right, so that's already looking a lot more like the Webby RSI template. So let's press OK. Um, but you might notice that Mike Webster also uses um, candlestick patterns instead of OHLC bars. So go over to candles. And also if the colors of the candlesticks aren't what you're used to, you can go down here, right click once again, go to settings, go to symbol, and you can change both the up color and down color 
along with a couple other appearance things down here as well. Uh, but that's pretty much it. And um, you also want to add the 21 EMA and also the 50 SMA down here. I just find that's very nice to have those, especially when looking at the general market. So that's pretty much it for TradingView, very quick and easy. And now let's go over to TC2000. And let me go down here and let's make a new chart and I'll just do the TC2000 classic and we'll start off with this template. So first things first, let's change the appearance of the chart right here and let's get rid of these moving average. Let's actually edit them. Let's make this one the 50 SMA and let's also make this one. Well, actually we do need a 200 in there. So let's go add plot here. Let's do another moving average and we want an exponential 21 EMA because that is what this whole Webby RSI is based off of. And let's change this color to, um, I think I had it at blue, and let's make the 201 this teal color right here. So there we go, and we also wanna change the appearance of these bars right here. So right click, Edit Chart Properties, and let's go down here and choose Candlestick, and we want based on open versus close, and let's make this um, up color this blue right here and let's make the down color um, this pink right here so that looks a little bit more like what Mike Webster uses and there we go I think that should be good for the chart and now what we have to do is add the Webby RSI so let's delete this volume right here um, and let's go back here and click this green plus sign and let's type in Webby RSI and I named it the Webby RSI Real. and I'm noticing here that we actually have hollow candles so let's edit chart properties and let's switch this from um, up bars not filled to up bars filled. So there you go. And you can see I have the entire thing built in here, uh, but I'm gonna show you how to build it step by step. So let's remove all of these. And you might have the PCF code come up as a line chart. So to change that to a histogram, like I have it right here, go to edit and just change it from line to histogram. And right here is the code for the Webby RSI. And once again, this code will be in the description below. And all it is is the percent change from the low to that 21 EMA. Um, so perfect, that's all we need here. And then we also wanna add those other things. So let's add the moving average first. So add plot here, moving average, simple. And let's make that a 10 day. And let's change the color to this blue right here. Um, so we also need those horizontal lines right here, the 0 0.5, 2, 4, and 6. So let's add plot here, and we're going to write the formula, and we're just going to have this be um, 0 0.5, and we're going to name it 0.5%. And there we go. And now we also ha actually have to search it up. So 0.5%, and we want to scale with the Webby RSI. So there it is showing up at 0.5%. Now let's change that appearance right here. So let's make it a line and let's make it a green line because this is the um, kind of lower bound of the range that you wanna see. And there we go, that's pretty much good. And let's also um, change the name right here. So it's just a little bit more user friendly. So 0.5% and there it is. That is good for 0.5%. And then we also wanna add the other exponential moving averages, which will all be based on this line right here. So let's scale that also with Webby RSI and let's add it a few more times. And then we also wanna edit this. So this is gonna be the 2% one. So let's make this two and change it once again to a green line. And then let's make this 2% down here. So that's the label. And now let's change this one to the 4% line. And this is gonna be a little bit of a caution sign. So let's make it orange and let's name it 4% down here. And then up here is going to be the 6%. And this is where you're maybe getting a little bit overheated after a sustained bull market run. So let's make this red right here. And actually he has the 4% in yellow, so easy fix. Let's go back here and let's change that color to yellow. And there you go, that is the Webby RSI in TC2000 and also in trading view. And one more thing, let's make this 6% on the label. Um, and there you go, that's pretty much it. Pretty quick and easy for both platforms. And remember to go ahead and watch those videos in the description below, they're fantastic. And I would also recommend that you go ahead and check out Mike Webster's previous stock market updates. They're full of excellent insights. 
and John was so kind to put them all into one cohesive article. So it's a great resource for new traders and also for anybody who wants to learn more about how to analyze the market. So that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys in future videos.